Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Krista Duville. Here are your updates for Thursday, August 9th. The Republican race for Kansas governor just got even tighter because of a recording mistake. Secretary of State Chris Kobach's lead is now 91 votes across the state. The votes recorded in Thomas County, Kansas, out in western Kansas, did not match what was recorded on the Secretary of State's website. Each county still has to count the mail-in ballots and report them by August 20th. A recount would need to be requested by August 17th, should there be one. Also today, Governor Jeff Collier created a voting integrity hotline. He says his campaign has heard from countless callers, from voters who had issues to Tuesday. Right now, Collier is 91 votes behind Kobach. Again, these numbers are not final. We're waiting to see which candidate will be named the Republican nominee for Kansas governor. Police are investigating the death of a man who was handcuffed. It happened this morning on 435 near 210. Police say a man and a woman were jumping into traffic on 435. Police got there, took them both into custody. They handcuffed the man who then ran and jumped off the overpass where he died. Uh, tonight, the Chiefs take on the Houston Texans kickoff 730 in this preseason game. It's the first one of the season, as you know. Tonight's game is a charity game that benefits Cornerstones of Care. It's an organization that helps more than 10,000 children and families here in the metro. And now you're for your forecast with Gerard Bailey coming up next. Did you know not all real estate agents are the same? Look for the Realtor logo to be certain you have a qualified advocate on your side. Visit KCRAR.com for more information. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. Let's take a look at what we can expect for this evening. Temperatures will stay pretty warm, but there will also be a few more showers and storms just like we've been having most of the afternoon. The majority of this activity will die down as we head later into the evening, so that's great news. And well, by 7 o'clock, just before the kickoff of our opening season here with uh, the Chiefs, well, there we go. It looks like we'll be nice and dry to start out and uh, by the end of the game, dry as well. So your preseason game forecast, well, we're Talking 91 for tailgate time with a few showers and storms later on by kickoff. 88 degrees will continue to cool down throughout the game and it's looking uh, mostly dry as we head into the weekend as well. Remember, get all your latest news and weather updates on KSHB.com. Kansas City, are you ready for a pigskin party? Every Monday, we're tackling every game in our new podcast. Plus, stay in the know with your hometown team. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. And when you do, you can win $200 to buy tickets to a game. Go! Go! Just head to KSHB.com slash Chiefs and sign up today.